Holyoke, on the day of love, Antonia Santos said she wants to pour back the same hope into her community that she has been given. Santos lost everything to domestic violence and escaped homelessness, she said. But on Wednesday morning, Valentine's Day, Santos and her family were handed the keys to their new home on Chestnut Street by the Greater Springfield Habitat for Humanity and the Holyoke Housing Authority, who worked together on the project. It's a dream come true, she said. Thank you to God and to my family. The Chestnut Street home in Holyoke marks the seventh affordable housing project for the Greater Springfield Habitat for Humanity. We build one to two houses per year, said Brandy O'Brien, the organization's marketing and communications manager. Last year, Habitat for Humanity built two homes side by side on Chestnut Street, which, O'Brien said, was very unusual for us. The Santos family will be the new neighbor of those two houses. Already, 30% of Holyoke's housing stock is considered affordable, but the need for affordable housing is growing in western Massachusetts, according to Aaron Vega, Holyoke's Director of Planning and Economic Development, so projects like this one are supported by the city. We already have a lot of income-restricted properties in Holyoke, he said. But bringing in developers like the Holyoke Housing Authority, Habitat for Humanity and Wayfinders, can offset costs. The state subsidizes projects like the Chestnut Street project to help them be more affordable both throughout the construction and for the homeowner once they live there. Habitat for Humanity also picks up the cost of a house's mortgage, significantly reducing the cost of a home for a family who couldn't otherwise afford it. The Chestnut Street project is also unique. It was our first insulated concrete form. ICF, build, said Amy Giroux, executive director for the Greater Springfield Habitat for Humanity. This type of project was cost-efficient to install and lowers the cost of energy for the Santos family, she said. Insulated concrete uses hollow foam blocks that are stacked into the shape of exterior walls of a building and are reinforced with steel rebar and filled with concrete, rather than traditional wood framing a press release from the local Habitat for Humanity affiliate said. Using this form of concrete creates a wall system of unmatched comfort, energy efficiency, and noise reduction, the release said. The city is working to increase home ownership for all, not just the people who are considered low income, said Vega. Affordable is subjective, he said. We want to make sure there is enough housing stock all including for the adequate workforce, or those who earn $40,000 to $60,000, for those trying to re-enter the community from prison, and for those experiencing chronic homelessness. At a dedication celebration honoring Santos and her family's accomplishment in purchasing their Chestnut Street house on Wednesday morning, Holyoke Mayor Joshua A. Garcia said, For those who know Holyoke, you know we're a city of compassion. I hope this home brings new hope new opportunities, and new memories for you and your family, he said. It's a great relationship we have built with Habitat for Humanity, said Matthew Mainville, executive director of the Holyoke Housing Authority. We work to help families realize their dream of having an opportunity to create generational wealth, he said. Santos is not only the proud owner of a new house, but she also has a good job and great kids, and she's also on track to get a phone. It's been a hard road but I made it. No, we made it. My family and me, she said.